Welcome to Puzzle with Emilia. That's me. And on today's video, we're going through my puzzle bucket list. Those puzzles that you know you keep thinking about and after you see them, but just haven't been able to purchase them yet. Especially on social media, I saw a lot of puzzles that every time I see them, I'm like, I must have it. While we go through that bucket list of mine, we are also gonna do a bucket list puzzle. So uh, I bought this puzzle from uh, Stockholm, Sweden when I was visiting there. And this is actually my very first puzzle from this uh, brand called Ridley's. It caught my eye mainly because of the shape of the pocket. And I always like traveling and I love, I love so much collage puzzles. So this is perfect for me and perfect for this video. Let's open it up so we can actually start going through my list as well. Oh wow, that's a lot of pieces. At least it had like a separate um, picture how to do it. I was a little bit worried that I will need to do it only relaying on this one. So while I do the sorting, let's see what is the number one thing on my puzzle bucket list. So the first puzzle on my list is actually quite opposite from this kind of like a collage puzzle. It is the crypt puzzle, which is basically just one solid color. It has, if I remember correctly, 631 pieces in it. It's from Ravensburger. And to be specific, I really want either the pink or the green one, or as we call in Finland, the Gadia screen. I actually bought already a golden one and I want to show it to you. So this is the golden crypt. As you can see, I was correct with the piece amount. It is just solid golden or yellow color, as you would say. I think it's actually going to be pretty hard, even though it has this uh, kind of like a round shape going on from the middle, which also makes me believe that there's a tiny, tiny little risk that after doing this golden one, I don't actually want that green and pink one anymore. So the reason why I bought this golden one instead of the pink or green that I actually really wanted is that they didn't have any other uh, colors available. As you can see, it's still on the plastic, so it's on kind of like my to-do list. But obviously what is on my to-do list right now is this bucket list puzzle. So I'm going to do the flipping and maybe shorting some edge pieces. I have to say that these pieces feel amazing. I love the colors already. I love the quality. There was no uh, puzzle dust at all. I hate the dust. There's nothing more I hate than the dust. So I am very excited. But let's get this done. So then we can move on for the number two on my bucket list. I don't know how this always happens to me. I'm <laughs> completely out of space. Again, let me, give me one second, I'll fix this. Okay, it's time to move on into these edge pieces and I will tell you about my crazy dream that's on my bucket list. So, do you know the big Disney puzzle? I think it has something like 40,320 pieces. So, as you can see, I already ran out of space with this thousand piece puzzle. So, I think that requires a little bit planning to do the plus 40,000 piece puzzle. I also wonder, like, how long would it take to short such a big puzzle because this took me around like 15 minutes to 
uh, flip all the pieces. I only sorted out these edge pieces. So with 40,000 plus, I'm like, that's gonna be like a week or something. But you know, I'm so sure I will do it someday. I mean, that that is just crazy, but that's the biggest dream of mine. Anyway, let's get these edges done so we can move on to the number three on my puzzle bucket list. Oh, I, I dropped the piece. Uh, here it is. And by some random luck, I actually know where it goes. Ta-da! Okay. Let's get this done. Oh, piece overboard! <laughs> Okay, okay, now let's focus, let's focus. Let's focus. I think I must be missing some edge pieces because this just doesn't make too much sense to me right now. I think I'm missing like one green border piece. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yes, 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 we got it, we got it. So I don't have enough space to connect all this, but I think we are ready to move on into my number three. So the third one on my list is actually uh, one shirt and mini puzzle. I never really liked mini puzzles, but a month ago I bought one and then I bought another one, another one. You know how the story goes and I actually started loving them. So there is this one series and they are using like the oldest trick on the marketing book, which is like uh, this bag that says collect all three. I remember I think back in the 90s or whatever I was a kid, there was a lot of like these things that you needed to collect them all and it like worked every time. So I do have this hamburger and then I got the soda pop. I, it's uh, borrowed by my sister currently so I don't have it to show you. But I'm missing the cupcake. They didn't sell the cupcake in the supermarket I went to. So I mean I, I must have the cupcake. Like who wouldn't love a cupcake puzzle? I always thought that the mini puzzles are for kids, but there's a lot of selection in the stores for adults. But let's move on also with this puzzle. So far it has been a blast. Next thing I'm thinking about doing is all like these names of locations on this puzzle. And after that, let's move on to the number four on my list, which is gonna be the second last puzzle on my bucket list. So I made some good progress here, but it's time to move on with my bucket list. If you're watching this video, you most likely know the other YouTube puzzle account called Karen Puzzles. I follow her on Instagram and I've seen so many people doing her puzzles. And what I like the most that sometimes when influencers do like these kind of collaborations, it feels more like just a basic product that somebody's name is like put on it. But with these puzzles, I really feel like there's like so much effort and thought put into those. They feel very unique. Um, I think the Karen Puzzles puzzles, which are I think also called puzzles and puzzles, are just so great. They have like this kind of different element that I haven't seen in too many puzzles, if in any, to be honest. So I'm very excited to do those. I haven't been able to find them in the stores in Finland. You know, I'm a little bit old fashioned in a way that I like to buy my puzzles from the actual physical store. So I don't do a lot of online shopping, but I think within this case, I may do the exception and actually order online because I really want those. And of course she's a YouTuber. So now since this is my first YouTube video, 
I will definitely start watching her videos as well. Maybe learn more about puzzling, of course, but also maybe some new tricks for these YouTube videos to make them more enjoyable for you guys. There is still one more puzzle or puzzles in my bucket list. So let's move on to that last part of my list after I move forward a little bit with this puzzle. some real progress with this puzzle it's about to be ready i think the last pieces are quite easy you have no idea how hot it is in here i mean that's how i've been wearing also this uh, like sun hat i don't know what is it called because in finland you never know when the sun is gonna hit your eyes or when it's just gonna be rainy it can be almost both at the same time anyway it is time for the last puzzle or puzzles in my puzzle bucket list. Some of you guys maybe recognize this immediately. This is the puzzle from the 2022 World Yixa Puzzle Championship competition in the individual category. So as some of you may already know, I'm also on my way to the World Championships this year. And I've been kind of like on a treasure hunt to try to find all the previous puzzles. But so far, this is the only one that I've been able to find. So there is at least two other puzzles that I think are published. I think the final puzzle in last year's competition is not published yet. So I don't think you can even buy it. So the two others are there's some uh, like a nature team that has like different color stripes. And then there is the there is the London postcard. This is actually a funny story. I thought I had that one. I gotta show you. I feel like I've been saving this forever so I can practice and then compare my time with the last year's competition. But I realized this is not London, this is New York. They look very similar. If you're coming to the Worlds this year, please let me know in the comments or send me a message on Instagram. I'm like so excited. This is gonna be my first event and like chance to meet other people who do puzzles. So I'm so excited and I would love to see you guys there. And also let me know in the comments if in my puzzle pocket list was something that you're also looking for or something that interests you. I would love to hear also your opinion. Or if you have some other puzzle that is on your bucket list and uh, you want to share it, that would be also wonderful. Meanwhile, I will finish this puzzle and then I'm gonna come back with my final thoughts on this. And I also wanted to go through a couple places that are on the puzzle. done with this bucket list puzzle uh, I have to say it's very high quality I would say very beginner friendly as well if you love collage puzzles this is perfect for you I wanted to go a little bit through what is in this puzzle in more detail first we have Amsterdam here I've been there a lot I've never been in Africa in my life or in the US or South America. I always wanted to go Iceland for my honeymoon. Maybe I'll have it that someday. I've been married for quite long. London, I've been there. Jerusalem, yes. Let's see what else. Berlin, I have been as well. Venice, yes, 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 yes. Alrighty, Northern Lights. Hey, that's me. We have those in Finland. And finally, we have Barcelona. Now, which you know, I will also visit when I'm coming for the World Championships to Spain in September. I hope to see you there. 
I was thinking as one of my next videos to show you a little bit how do I practice for the World Championships, what are my training practices, my routines and all kind of tips. If you're interested in that and all my other puzzle videos, remember to subscribe to this channel, follow also in Instagram, Puzzle with Emilia. And see you next time!